um hey there um this video is gonna be about talking about the mangas from volume 19 to volume 24 which is the current one and these are the mangas that is mostly where Ikitosen Extravaganza Epoch the OVAs take um, take place in however uh, the OVA take place in from volume 19 to volume 22 so from uh, this 19, 20, 21, and 22, 23, and 24. So yeah. Um, I was supposed to do this video like last year before the OVA started. Or before the OVA was aired on December in 2014. So, but yeah, I'm like one year late now. So, all I wanted to do was just mention some things that like... Was was happening in the manga before um, the OVA started, but I guess it's already too late. So now I'm just gonna mention what's happening after the OVA. What's ha um so what's happening after the OVA? So those who want no spoilers, um, it probably can stop this video. But I'm gonna mention some spoilers, not that much, uh, because also, but are these manga right here? Or in Japanese like you see right here Japanese and I can't read Japanese so I'm going through by what I see through the picture uh, the good thing for me I feel like is because is the dialogue is not that complicated compared to like enemies like um Ghost in the Shell and Death Note where the dialogue is all important and this in anime um in Ikitosen for me all this what's for me is what is necessary is to know their character name and stuff like that. But, and, yeah. If you know the character name, you can find out their history. And if they have, like, a certain history, like, with, in a certain character, like, example, Ryomo, she has history with Kanu. And if you look up the history in Wikipedia and you find that out, yeah, then, of course, in the anime, they're gonna mention that also. So, yeah. Anyway, so. Like I said, the external fan guys that approach OVA um, start off like from volume 19 goes through to 22. And you can see, here's Yoshi Tsuna. But of course, in the uh, OVA, they did cut out some scenes like the, how the uh, the fight of Yoshi Tsuna and So So, how it ended. And like, supposedly, it ended with Himiko showing up. And by this time, Himiko did have the, the Makatama of Hakufu. So Himoko was able to summon some water. I believe it's in this one. Hold on. I'm trying to do this with one finger because I don't have a oh not finger, one hand because I don't have a what I call it a I forgot the thing that you hold the camera in. Um let me just pause this. Can I pause it? Okay, I was mentioning um, how the fight ended with Joseph Sune and Soso. As you see, um, Himiko did show up. And it is raining like an OVA. So, um, Yoshisune, um, Yoshisune is still like not defeated yet and such. And through some pages, then we have Himiko right there raising her hand. And like next thing you see, the rain stopping. As um, as Himoko is able to control the water, the rain, and it do is because of she just so Hakufu um, Magatama. So so yeah. So that's what um, I like about the manga that where the OVA did it um, show because the OVA did cut out some things out, but not all. I mean the fight with um, Kanu and Enshun and, and mostly all the fight with Hoso and and I guess the other characters mostly are all the same. The only thing that's mostly different were Yoshitsune and Soso -so, and I think mostly that's it. I think that's the only major difference. Anyway so after the fight they decided to go f and seek for their Magatama. Cause you know how like Soso and Hakufu lost theirs in the end of their, in the end of the OVA, 
So there were this ended. I don't need to look for that again. And you can see right here. They had a strength station. There's Koking, Kanu, Chohi, Chube. Kentuk was her books. And like how she is like in the anime as well. Her in the books. Kentuku mentioning stuff how Kanu become an end strength. Or I believe that was happening. Yeah, and then the Kyosho fighter shows up, Kokotan, Soshin. Because of course they need to get Soso Makatama back. So not just Hakuvu but Soso as well. So there were this start off where now in their third first they were in like the main character's territory, now they're the other character's territory where this book takes place and this book takes place. And you can see there's a new character right here too. So but first um so there's some new characters introduced and some kind of more confrontation with um some more characters confront um Himiko but I'm not gonna mention that right now because there'll be too much information. Um what was I looking for? Oh is in this book. There's a new character that was introduced in this book, but I'd rather have it show a picture in this one. Um, like you can see right here, there's like a new character. And she has like a, like a fox mask. Um, and she is fighting Kokon. And she's using this kind of like um strings i'm not sure what to call the thing but i did in this manga because she was introduced in last value so in this value they did show her name and it is over here okay there's this and you can see that she is an s rank s rank same goes for like Yoshitsune and all those characters. So yeah. And uh, I believe her name is translated to Yashia Doman. And I tried to Google it on Wikipedia and online. So the only thing I found on Wikipedia was this right here. Um, that, okay, there it is. Um, like it said, uh, On here, during the hang-up period, she was like rival with a character name, a person name, Ape. Um, sorry about that. Um, Ab. Where is it? Ab Abe no Seiman. And yeah, and only uh, there's his name. The rival of the person name was Abe no Seiman. And only that. Um. If, so the only information I could find out was that Ashia Doman was rival with Abeno Simon and but according to Abeno Simon um that his mother Kusohona was a Kisune a fox fox spirit. So I assuming that in this case for the enemy character um they decided to give her the fox mask and only that she does have this ability to control like all I thought it was wolf but I was thinking it probably is foxes cause I assume it was wolf in the first place but perhaps they're fox almost same as the character from the extreme ex extreme AC killer the one guy that he can control wolves but yeah and the new character um actually I don't need to show you the image in the manga because she's in the cover this character right here um i tried to find out her name and in the manga on the because she just barely introduced her name is not on the cover but she is mentioned in the in the middle of the chapter so but yeah um let's see hold on, let me pause this
and uh, what I was saying that her name has been mentioned in the in the front page, but her name is mentioned right here. Cause if you don't know about the mangas, between some chapters they have some every mention on some on some characters or a certain events. In this case, they have this information is supposedly be information on her this character, the one on the cover, and you can see there's a wolf. And there she is. And there how she looks. Not only that, and in, in the manga, she seemed to be confronting um, Kanu. So, and this, um, but yeah. They're mostly um in her name um from what I saw right there I was able to translate it to Shiman Takeso but as let me just go up here um it actually was um Miyamoto Musashi but uh, here is also known as Shiman Takeso Miyamoto Penosuke or Penosuke but his, the name is Miyamoto Musashi and uh, the, the picture right here is almost similar to the one in the book so so I'm assuming it is this character right here name and we have uh, information on this character and such and the thing is there is some information like a little trivia I want to say trivia or not sure what how to call it but a little bit of information on Yoshitsune not Yoshitsune I think Yoshitsune or was it Panke? It was one of those two. Panke or Yoshitsune. It was a mention about one of those two. And her. And her. Um, and the one decided so that her name. She got her name based on one of those characters. But this. This, was, this came in the, in the one of the mangas. I just took it out right now. Um, but yeah. And uh, I know this video was long. But. I just wanted to show up. Explain to those people who are watching this what's going on during after uh, the OVA of the external effect guys I watched because we're not sure how long um, the enemy will continue again or when it's gonna start again because it took a few years before the OVA came out so we're not sure it might be a few more years or or short or less or probably a year or more, I don't know so I'm going through the manga right now like I said, can't read Japanese, but I'm going through the pictures, and that's for me. I'm I'm able to survive, and I was able to find the character name. So, and at least I can get some little bit of history on them. So yeah, so thank you for watching, and and I'll probably do another video after probably next year when I get one more or two more volumes which help expand expand the story so that way I can do like a more like an update so yeah and I was supposed to do this last year like I said before the OVA just to let people know like what's going up what's gonna might gonna be happening in the OVAs like a I'm not sure how to call it but yeah anyway so thank you for watching and yeah so there's new characters that are being introduced and not only female characters, but male characters as well. So, again, thank you for watching, and I had to go. Bye.